everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're going to repot some paffia petalums um, these are the two paffia petalums that I got at the orchid show on the weekend um, and while I'm at it I thought I would just re repot also this um, paffia petalum which bloom is fading so um, the reason I'm repotting these uh, so there's several reasons. Um, firstly, because that's just what I do. But secondly, um, I am going overseas for about nearly three weeks, um, very shortly. And uh, I'm giving my friends some orchids to look after while I'm gone. Ordinarily, I might just wait. But the issue is none of the friends that I'm giving my orchids to are orchid people they are gonna need very specific instructions about how to water my plants. I want all of my paths to be in the same type of media in very similar size pots if I can help it. Just so I can say to my friend, can you water these orchids twice a week um, and have them grouped together um, so that, you know, that's what the orchid needs. At the moment, this media, so, I told you I got it on the weekend. It's dry within two days um, and I, it's just beginning to warm up. It's going to be much hotter um, in a month from now and I can't have my friends watering my orchids every day. Um, that's just, I mean, it's not going to happen, but it's not fair as well on them. So I am going to repot these guys. But these paths, the mottled leaf paths um, that I've had so far have been really, really okay with repotting. Um, they haven't really skipped a beat. Uh, they've, you know, continued to grow and they're doing really well. So I'm not too worried about these two. I haven't had as much luck with the repotting of my green leafed paths. Um, so I am going to repot this one anyway uh, because I don't know, it's convenient, um, but we will just have to see how it goes. Okay, so for the ease of, I don't know, video production purposes, um, I'm not gonna run you through all three repottings. Um, we'll get through what we get through, um, but I'd like to show you what um, my modeled leaf paths are doing in terms of their roots. Uh, so let's unpot those two. This one is, um, cherry glace crossed with fairy anum. I don't know if that's focusing for you. No, that's what it is. So let's have a look, shall we? Just a little spoilies there. This one certainly doesn't have an amazing root system. It's okay, they're not all dead, but they're also not fantastic. So let me give them a rinse um, because roots are always a bit easier to work with when they're a little bit moist um, just because they're a lot more flexible and less prone to breaking. Um, keep in mind that pat fruits are quite prone to breaking, they're quite stiff. So I will rinse this off um, in a sec but before I do that I'm going to unpot the other paphiopetalum as well. So let's not confuse them, but this first one just has the one growth and the other one has two growths. So it's on camera, we won't confuse them. The second one, um, which has two very good looking growths um, is, again, not sure if that's gonna focus. Hmm, the light's just sort of reflecting everything all right, I'll just tell you. It's Paph Colosum times Paph Robolenii. <laughs> there you go. All right, so let's repot, unpot this one. And hopefully the roots in this will be a bit better. A little bit of a squeeze. It just seem to be a little bit more secure in the pot. Oh, that's nice. All right. Can you see that? These roots are all pretty nice. Not a lot of dead roots there. We'll compare that to 
this one, which you can see, like, that's a dead reed there. See, it's just come off of my hand. Um, and, you know, there's more dead root there. So, yes. Um, but you can see that these are still good. So, the good roots will feel firm. Whereas the dead roots um, just feel quite papery. They feel like they've got no substance and just like, you know, the roots of fowls and other orchids, if you give them a little pull, it'll just come off and it'll leave behind like that stringy bit, which is the actual root because this is just the covering, the velamen. Um, if you have a look at these roots, they're quite um, fleshy and this camera is just not focusing for some reason but there is um, like a fuzz around the root system. It's really quite cute um, because, gosh, just falling apart on me, um, it's kind of like the, the flowers. Um, the flowers are also quite furry um, so it's like the whole plant just has fur. Like I'll show you this flower that's expiring but can you see the fuzz on the ovary there and the fuzz on the stem? They're pretty cute. All right so I'm gonna give these guys a rinse um, and we're gonna tidy up the um, dead roots properly. Okay, so we're back with two sets of rinsed roots. So this is half number one. Um, and after a rinse, it does become a lot more obvious which roots are dead and which are alive, just by giving them a little bit of a squeeze. So you may find that um, the initial portion is still stiff, but the end is dead. So you, know, you can just give it a little bit of a pull and the velamen will just come off if it's dead. Don't pull too hard, it's not that important. Um, you know, what you're trying to avoid by taking off this dead stuff is rot, basically. Um, but I think we got most of the dead stuff um, before the rinse so the rest of these are pretty good great so that's that it's not too bad of a root system give it a little spray and some hydrogen peroxide and put it aside Now let's look at this guy. So we're just going to go through these roots one by one um, and you know I've been a bit naughty and I haven't changed my gloves so I'm going to change my gloves in between these and the other one but these all came from the same nursery from the same cellar they were side by side at the orchid show. I'm, I'm not too concerned I recommend you change gloves. I actually just kind of forgot, so uh, hedge my bets. It'll probably be fine. All right, so yes, yeah, so we're going through one by one um, and doing the same thing. We're feeling for soft squidgy roots. And here's one right here. You can see right at the base, it's sort of falling apart. It's black and you can see the root poking through. So we're going to chop that one off. Just because I don't really want to pull it when it's, I know it's dead to the base. And you can see um, there that it's hollow on the inside, just where my finger is. So yeah, we're just going to go through one by one, feel right to the tips. Pretty good. Uh, here's another dead root. Oh, that one's just come off. They're yeah, pretty good. You can see that's actually an act 
of the growing root tip there. Yes, the rest of them are pretty good. Just clean on the base there. Okay. So that's pretty good. I'm gonna give this one a spray. guys well I'm back um, and I have some stuff so first of all I've got my medium so I use for pretty much all my paths this premix which is small grade um, about 50% bark 25% uh, perlite and 25% charcoal um, I do put extra liquor beads in for a little bit of extra aeration as well as lining the bottom of my pots with liquor um, and I also have some sphagnum for extra water retention because um, I don't want to water my paths every second day. The only other thing that I'll be using um, is this dolomite lime, which I'll use as a little bit of a top dressing or I will actually maybe I'll mix a little bit into this bark mix as well. Just going to give this a good mix. All right. And we're going to... Just place the path in the pot so it's sitting at the level you want and we're just going to start filling around. I'm just going to make sure that I'm happy that there's no big big um, air spaces in here and we're just going to tuck that media in gently just using your thumb just always give the media a little bit of a squeeze and a tap give it a little tap in here as well and you can jiggle the plant up and down a little bit just to help the media fall in between the roots into place. Great, and I think that's pretty good. It's sitting nicely in there. There's no movement when I jiggle it up and down like that. So there we go. That's one potted. And we'll put this guy up. So. very gently this pot and you can see that the orchid's now sunk down a little bit into into the media we can always you know lift it back up a little bit but I don't I don't want to have it sitting too high and then push my media down and break the roots so this is a bit nicer Try and get the paths to sit in the center a little bit because usually the growths kind of grow in all directions. They tend to bush out more than have a single direction of growth. Okay, so shall we? Do the little lifty test. Good, it's very secure in the pot. Okay, so I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit more dolomite on the top. Um, there we go, just a little bit of a top dressing. And on this one as well, just a little bit. Great, um, and so I am going to give these guys a really good soak. Um, the media will sort of fall a bit better into place and fill some more air gaps. Um, I might need to, you know, add a little bit more media even after I water it, because it'll sink a little bit. All right guys, well, here they are, my newly repotted paths, looking all shiny and happy except for that flower which I 
didn't quite have the heart to cut off but please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and more repotting videos um, and happy growing until I see you guys next time bye